Alright, welcome. Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to walk through two examples. One for a three variable Carnot map and one for a four variable Carnot map. Uh, so we'll first look at a truth table, see how to fill that, take information from the truth table onto a Carnot map and look at how to minimize it. Uh, derive a Boolean expression that's minimized from the Carnot map. Okay. So here's the three variable function. A, B, and C are the inputs. F is the output. Under five out of the eight conditions, the output F is a one. Okay, so how do we uh, do a Carnot map again? So a Carnot map is basically a two-dimensional table, right? We have a variable on one side, so let's it can be anything. So let me say this is a A here. A can be zero, A can be a one. We say this is a B and this is a C. So zero 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 one 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 zero. Remember, any row or any column in a Carnot map can have only one variable that changes uh, when you traverse a row or a column. So in this case, at zero zero to zero one, only one variable is changing. Zero one to one one, only one variable changes. Now I can't really say zero one to one zero. You know that's what you might want to do based on the binary count but that's not really how a Carnot map works so you need to be very careful here that only one variable changes okay once you have this the cell right here this cell basically represents a equals 0 b equals 0 c equals 0 so that's the value of f that goes here so this is f when a0 b0 c0 so that's a 0 okay let's look at this cell that's a0, b0, c1, so that's this guy, that's this. This is a0, b1, c1, so that's a 1, that's a 0. So basically just fill this out. Okay, so we have five ones in the cells. Okay, now remember the entire goal of the Carnot map is to come up with a very simplified uh, simplified Carnot, uh, simplified Boolean expression, right? So we need to find the largest group and the largest group has to be a power of 2. So in this case, what's the largest group that we have? We have a group of 4 here. Okay, so let me circle that. So here's a group of 4. Okay. Once we've identified a group, what do we do next? We try to figure out which variable between A, B, and C does not change within the group. So let's look at this. Does A change? A is 0 on these two cells, but A is 1 on the bottom two cells. So A changes. How about B? B is 0 in these two cells, but a 1 on these two guys. And C is a 1 across all four cells. So this, this guy represents C equals 1. Okay. Now we have 1 Uh, that's uncovered yet. You might be tempted to just cover this with a 1, but remember, our goal is to find a minimized Boolean expression, and in order to do that, we must find the largest grouping for 1 that's allowed. Okay? In this case, the grouping can be found by overlapping this with this guy, and remember, as we discussed in class, the overlap is perfectly legal. Right, so we can create a group of two instead of just this single one, and that leads us to what changes here. A is one on both these guys. B is one on both these guys, but C goes is one here, but a zero here. So C changes. So A and B remain unchanged. So that's A equals one, B equals one. Okay. So the equation for F then is A B this condition or this condition. Okay, that's the expression for AB. Now let's look at the truth table and see if this is actually the case. Let's look at this one. In this case C is a 1. So that makes sense. Here C is a 1. That also makes sense. C is a 1. C is a 1. How about for this guy? C is a 0 but A and B are both 1. So that's a 1. So this expression seems to satisfy this truth table. Okay. Now when I started this, I placed A right here 
and I place B and C here, okay, there is no real rule as to where A, A, B, or C needs to go. Okay, let's try the same truth table, but different variable ordering. So let me put A and B here and C here. Okay, so again, zero, 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 one, 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 zero. And I have zero and one. Again, we go in and fill in this cell. This cell is A0, B0, C0, so that's zero. This cell is A0, B1, C0, so that's a zero. This is A1, B1, C0, so that's a one. So one zero zero, so that's a zero. Zero zero one, that's a one. Zero one one, that's a one. One one one, that's a one. And one zero one, that's a one. Okay, so we have all ones in the bottom row. So let's try to create the largest group. And the largest group again here is a group of four, except this is rectangular in this case. There's the largest group of four. Which variable does not change here? C is a 1 on all four cells, A changes across the four cells, and B also changes. So this grouping represents C. Again, we have this left, we have one left here. Now if I group this by itself, I don't get the minimized equation, so I need to find the largest group. I can overlap that with this, and for that, things that do not, variables that do not change are A, which is a 1 on both case, B, okay? So the overall expression for F is equal to A, B, or C, okay? So whether I place A here like this or A here like this, I ended up with F equals A, B, F equals A, B, or C or C. Okay? So the so the way I place the individual variable here does not matter as long as I read correctly from the truth table and translate that truth table into the counter map correctly. After that it's a matter of finding the groups and the expression from that group. Now let's move on to a full variable. A, B, C, and D are the inputs, Y is an output. There's four conditions under which Y is a one. Again, ordering of the variable doesn't matter. So let's start here with A, B, C, D. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. This is 0, 0 again. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay, so this cell is A0, B0, C0, D0, which is a 0. This is A0, B0, C0, D1, which is also a 0, 0. So fill this out in an exact same fashion. So I have 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, which is a 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, which is a 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, that's a 1, 0, 0, Zero, one zero 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 one zero zero zero. That's a one. One. That's a one. These guys are zero and a zero. Okay. All right. So what's the largest group here? So I have a one here, a one here, one here. Can I make a group of three? The answer is no. Right. So the group has to be a power of two. So the largest group can be only in this case okay so let me take this group okay what are the variables that do not change in this group how about a does a change a is a one in this cell a is a one in this cell so a is good a equals one how about b b is zero on both cells so way we write that is b with a bar over it okay so whenever you have something like this that means the variable the value of that variable was a zero how about C? C is a zero here, C is a zero here. So C like this. And how about D? D is zero on the top, one on the bottom, so D can't be a part of that grouping. 
Okay, so this represents a equals zero, a sorry, a equals one, b equals zero, c equals zero. Okay. Okay. All right. So another group. This guy. Okay. Now what's the expression for that? Does a change? A changes from zero to one. B does not change, so B is there. C does not change. C is zero in both cases. This C is zero, C is zero. Same thing with D. D is zero, so I put a D with a bar over it, right? So my expression is then y equals a or b not c not d right now in this case i had this covered and this covered right so i don't really need to cover to a, a overlap like this that's not necessary okay i don't need to do this because all the variables have been covered so i can just stop and write this boolean expression okay why is a not b not c or b not c not d that's how you read that expression okay now let's look at this four variable k map so like the three variable k map the ordering of where where a is or where b is where c is and where d is doesn't really matter okay so let's try something else let's try a b c d or you could have tried a c b d okay you just need to be careful about how you read the truth table and how you put these guys in here you just need to make sure that they're in the right cell One one zero okay. A B C D zero 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 so it's zero 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 one zero 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 one one zero 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 one zero zero one zero 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 one one zero zero that's one zero 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 one zero 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 that's one. Okay. So I have this. Now let's find the largest group. Again, the largest group is a group of two. So let me do this. Okay. Between these two cells, A is a one, B is a zero, so I put a B with a bar, C is a zero, so C with a bar. Alright, so that's this group. For this guy, A changes between these, so that doesn't feature into the expression b is a 1 in a both b c is 0 in both c with a bar d is a 0 in both so d with a bar okay so the expression for y again is a not b not c or b not c not d okay so just like the previous case this is A not B not C or B not C not D. So where you place these guys doesn't matter. Okay, I could have easily done A C. I I could have created another kind of map like this and said A C B D. All I need to do is make sure this guy goes into the right place in this K map. Okay, so let's stop here. Uh, if you have any problem, come by my office hours. Uh, practice some of the Carno maps that I placed in Blackboard and feel free to seek help from the TA or from me. Okay? Have fun.